Hello everybody, um, I'm Engineer Minder now, just to give you the uh, second part of the drill demonstration. Um, my battery died on the camera um, yesterday, so it just went off all of a sudden. So uh, I'm going to start her up, um, and then I'll put one of the. I've already put the. Uh, I've already put the small 5 inch drill on the length already. Um, these lengths, have, it's quite a thick wall, galvanised tubing, and then they've got a male and a female end, um, so they all screw together. Um, yeah, so the male and female end, so they screw together easy and everything, you know, joins up, and then it's easy to uh, dismantle everything. As you're bringing it back up again, just unscrew it. Two sets of Stilsons or pipe wrenches, two pipe wrenches. Um, so, I'm going to make sure this time I'm not zoomed in. The sun's a bit bright. Um, I can't find the throttle that we used um, on the engine. So I just had to use a piece of stick and I drilled a hole in the end and put some tie wire around it connected to the throttle. Um, I don't know what I've done with it, I've just had a look around everywhere. It might have been used for something else. Um, Don comes over and borrows bits and bobs now and again and I, I don't know, he might have used it for something else. So okay, let me switch on, switch on. a little bit to uh, warm it up. That's approximately what speed I would drill at. Um, and then obviously as it's drilling it does labour it a little bit, so you just wind the uh, revs up very slightly. So that's kind of the speed I would be drilling at. Um, I'm not going to do a proper hole because I don't want to connect all the water and dig all the holes up for the water recirculation and make a mess. Um, so I'm just going to put a length of pipe on and then show you it actually going into the ground. It's really heavy clay here and because we've had a lot of rain it is really heavy so it may only go in about a foot or so um, and because it's not being cleaned by the recirculating water it will clog the end of the drill up quite easily um, and I don't want to I don't labour it so it really needs the water circulating to uh, make it work. Okay, I'm going to um, close it down to tick over. And you see the clutch is working there. So the head stopped working now, set head stopped drilling. I'll take it up into position. should be far enough. I'll put the camera down while I screw it on. Hope you can see there. There we go, there's no need to tighten it, it actually tightens itself when it starts drilling because um, it turns right hand clockwise so uh, it tightens itself up as it's drilling which is quite handy. Um, I'll use my modified throttle. get a little bit of a wobble on until it actually goes into the ground. So 
So there it's straightened itself up now. It's starting to drill. There's a bit of water in the hole, so that's probably helping it. I just keep inching out. So that's about the speed you can drill at. You probably go in normal soil, you can get probably a foot a minute quite easily. You see the, you see the cutting now, it's um, getting quite clay like consistency of oil. I'll bring it back up again. So you see the way it actually um, chews up the clay. You see the end of the drill is quite clogged now, that's where uh, where the recirculating water would be cleaning that. I'll go a little bit more. Yeah, it's getting clogged up with clay at the moment now. But when the recirculating water's on, all that clay and soil gets washed out of the hole straight away, so the hole stays nice and clean. Yeah, you can see the drill is really um, clogged up at the moment. Take it down to tick over. Yeah, you can see that. Uh, really thick clay here but we've got a nice five inch diameter straight hole um, down in there and that's just the way it drills nice and clean um, say so when all the soil's washing out with the recirculating water it's spotlessly clean and that's just the way it is that's the way you want it it's like uh, muddy like that so it lifts the uh, it actually lifts the soil out of the hole. So that's a demonstration of it running. Um, I didn't like to go any faster. You could actually go quite quick if you, if you knew that it was like sandy ground or something. Or um, I think if you're going on really sandy ground where you're worried about it caving in um, behind you, there is like an additive that you can get that's, um, I don't know, it's a bit like plaster you can put in with the water and that actually lines the side of the hole as you're drilling down to stop it from collapsing. Um, let me see if I can reach the switch. Yeah, switch the engine off. Yeah, if it starts collapsing in on your drilling through really sandy ground. Um, I suppose you could use something like skim coat you could mix that in with the water and as you're drilling then that clings to the side of the hole and seals the sand so it doesn't uh, doesn't fall in um, there is a proper name for it, I can't remember now what they actually put in with the uh, put in with the water but I've never seen it here but pretty straightforward say so the the drills quite clogged up now with uh, with clay but yeah that's the demonstration of it working um, we were drilling well, five, six foot an hour till we hit rock and then it was a slow process then you have to be very careful chewing through it it does go through, you know, but it slows you down quite a bit um, but it's got plenty of power um, went through it quite easily it's only a, was it, seven horsepower motor um, I bought the motor here actually I didn't bring that from the UK um, I did buy one um, motor that was uh, six horsepower um, it was a Chinese thing when I got it I wasn't very happy you got a lot of vibration when you started it um, it didn't run very nice um, this little engine has been brilliant 
never fail to start on us. Um, but I've, I keep it well serviced. It's had an oil change about four or five times. Um, I clean the carb out all the time. Um, so yeah, it's been a good little engine this one. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, not a great deal. Um, I'll take you down to my well. This is my pile of uh, scrap wood and bits and bobs just gets chucked down here. I've got to have a sort out and uh, get rid of stuff. So this pile of soil was actually, you can actually see the two holes are still really there. One there and one there that were left, um, left over. And because the ground was getting quite muddy around here where we were drilling, as well we brought loads of this gravelly stone stuff to keep our feet clean. Um, here's a huge lump of this, like a coral. Oh. Watch there's no snakes underneath it. We're getting attacked by blooming mosquitoes here. Well, wow. um, yeah, it's really heavy and really hard. I want to try and find out what it is. But yeah, I shuttered this in and concreted it with a slope on to keep it uh, keep the water off. I've never shifted the shutter in yet. And then I wanted something to cap off the top of the six-inch pipe. So um, I was looking everywhere to find something. I found this bucket that's ideal so I made the fittings up to fit on there to keep all the insects and stuff out I don't want stuff going down inside it and it keeps it clean, keeps the rainwater out and then I've just got this half inch pipe that comes from the pump down the well and runs all the way across the ground we've got to bury it yet um, I never got round to it yet because we've not landscaped this area yet um, and then runs over and fills the best tank um, I've never really measured what it puts out in litres um, per uh, per minute. I need to measure it really. But usually I can, um, if the best tank's gone right down, we've run it right down to empty. Um, 50 minutes ish, as Princess, little maid. She's been cleaning. Say hello, princess. Hello. <laughs> so yeah, that fills the best tank, and then it's just the pressure of the water from the tower um, that goes around the house. It's okay. Um, it's enough pressure there with that. Enough head of water. Um, yeah, that's all I've got for you, really. Um, I was going to go over to the house, but apparently, um, because Dong's not here, they buried his mother on Sunday. Let me zoom back out again. They buried his mother on Sunday. Usually a funeral here will last a week, two weeks, three weeks of mourning. And they have the uh, coffin, oh, well, with a glass lid at home all the time. Then loads of people come round and sit there for hours morning but the barangay apparently said to them that um, they were only going to give them three days because they didn't want a congregation of people coming backwards and forwards because of the coronavirus thing and the uh, quarantine so he actually buried his mother on Sunday so I spoke to him yesterday he was coming back today he did say to me 5 p.m. he was coming back um, I don't know. It's not 5 p.m. yet. I thought he might have said 4 a.m. 5 a.m. not p.m. He might have got mixed up, but he didn't come first thing this morning. So there's been no work done at all for the last two days on the house. They've not touched anything. I think the workers have been over helping somebody else on another job. Um, and if Dong's back tomorrow, they'll come back tomorrow and help. Um, our neighbour who lives down the bottom there, like a relative, cousin. Um, these trees are growing massive now, they're growing across the footpath. 
I don't cut them or she'll go crazy. Yeah, this is our field here where the coconut trees are over to the banana trees over there. And then that goes right the way down, right the way down over there, um, right down to the river. Um, this is all our land here. So we let them uh, plant on it a few times now. They plant a corn on it this time, so it's okay, we don't mind. They clean the land, look after it. They planted corn, they've been harvesting it so far, so it's not, it's been okay. They gave us a few bits of corn, like sweet corn. You get a lot of, uh, lots of snakes in this ground, I think. It's getting a bit overgrown now. So yeah, okay guys, that's all I've got for you. That's an update and showed you how the drill works. Nothing else to tell you about it. Um, I'm hoping Dong's back tomorrow so we can get an update on the house tomorrow afternoon. Um, see how far they've got. I'm probably ready to do some more block work. Um, I've been trying to download a load of pictures to make a slideshow. I haven't got a video when we built the house here. Um, I've just got loads of pictures because I was mainly working in the UK. I come back as a forward a couple of times, but only for like a week, ten days, and then back to the UK, back to work. So we never really got a good video of them working. Um, so I just got loads of pictures. So I sorted loads of pictures out to make a slideshow. So I'm downloading that at the moment to make a slideshow for that. Some nice plants. Things go crazy here, these trees. Um, I don't know what they're called, they're really nice. Um, we planted these. I think she's done quite a few, they're all across the top, these two here. Oh, there's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's a big one there, this one's growing really tall. And these nice bushes here. Um, I brought some grass seed from the UK, tried it, scattered it on, raked it in, kept watering it, but I don't know, it didn't seem to want to grow very well. I don't know why. Probably the birds got at it before uh, before it started to grow. Backing my way through the undergrowth again. Okay guys, thanks for looking in and um, I will uh, catch up with you tomorrow. Bye for now.